I, I'm curious about Atlantis because you mentioned it uh, a couple times and you mentioned like a direct link uh, with star seeds. So I'm kind of curious why Atlantis in particular was kind of a, a beacon or something for for star seeds versus, you know, any of the other previous uh, civilizations before. Well, um, because going back into history, um, the Anunnaki's uh, created humanity for various purposes. Um, but one of the groups of Anunnaki that created us was with the means of enslaving us, you know, and mining gold on earth and so that they wouldn't take a karmic in, in um, karmic connection with the with this planet. Because, you know, it, it just connects to what I was talking about, about the exchange of energy. If you, everything is an exchange of energy. You just cannot take some something from some place without giving something in exchange. So for that reason, when the Anunnaki came here, they, and they created a, or they brought a group of slaves that will do the mining work so that they will not be directly connected to that exchange of energy of, of with this planet and they will they won't have karmic ties to to this matrix you know so but that's not the only reason we were created because remember that the anunnaki has many different species and many different races so humanity itself was like a project you know like a, like an experiment let's say um and so many different cyber, um, extraterrestrial beings gave their DNA and genetics away into creating this, um, creating us. And so when when we were in the times of Samaria, it was when there was a sublimation of the humans that were enslaved. And within the families of the Anunnaki, there was also a conflict because some of them wanted us to remain as slaves and um, some of them decided that we were not slaves that we were their children and so that's why there was a liberation in a sense of humanity and what that's why we see in Samaria these symbols of the Anunnaki holding a pine cone and and humans uh, receiving this pine cone because the pine cone represents the pineal gland and the pineal gland represents wisdom and, and higher dimensional consciousness. So they were saying basically that they were giving us secrets to consciousness and how to activate our DNA so that we will be able to evolve and to activate the, the codons that were deactivated on purpose so that we will be perfect slaves. So that we will not, you know, we will continue again our path of evolution. And so Atlantis, for that reason, represents such a beacon point, you know, in, in the idea of the history of starseeds. Many starseeds came here also actually in Samaria. But Atlantis is the most, like, um, uh, let's say one of the most um, um, important points in history of the starseeds because it's when many beings from um, higher civilizations were observing this change within the history of Earth and, and this specific race. This is a specific species of slaves of, or, or children of the Anunnaki's. And they decided that they will also help in, in help us in creating civilizations and societies and systems that will um, that will let us um, explore this different, this this various wisdom that we contain within our DNA and that they contain, that they they can they they brought from their own star systems. So that's why many many star systems, many many souls from different star systems decided to incarnate and, and made themselves into star seeds because they wanted to help humanity to gain this knowledge by incarnating and grounding this consciousness into the vessel and into their society, giving gifts away, giving service away. Um just curious, Marina, if you know anything about the Galactic Wars, uh, the Orion Wars and those big conflicts that happened in the, in the far past between reptilians and Pleiadians and a bunch of different species. Um, because according to Ishmael Perez, um, the human species was created with these about 22 different uh, DNA types uh, integrated into one so that we can replay here on Earth um, this galactic karma that happened. It's kind of a replay to resolve karmas that happened between all these different races in the galactic scale of things. Do you know anything about uh, those wars? Yes, that is exactly the experiment that I was talking about before. Um, you're correct. This experiment was mostly for that matter. We, uh, the Anunnaki themselves, are the ones that contain these different um, karmic ties to Pleiadians, to the Orion people. That's why you see them all across the galaxies and the space, you know, in the universe. 
because they're actually, um, they have many evolutionary paths and many experiences and karmic ties to many different star systems and points in their own history that they lent us when they created us in the first place. And so this experiment where we're meant to be specifically the summary of karmic um, cycles of energy, both positive and negative. So you're correct. I have a question. If if we were created by them to dig for gold and such, then how is there no karmic attachment? Because if we were made in an experiment to be their slaves, that is that is involvement. And then the next question is, uh, what is the karmic consequence of of us giving them the gold or whatever like what were they going to do with the gold that would make it dirty money like what what's the bad karma about us giving them gold that they're trying to avoid well in the first place the reason why they wouldn't get karmic attachment is because they just don't simply impose themselves onto us into what are we going to give them or what are we going to do for them. They just use manipulation. They put it into, they put us or guide us into um, situations of need and they tell us, that, you know, for example, that we need, um, that we need um, technology or, or food or resources from them. And in exchange for that, we will mine gold for them. They put us into synchronistically into situations of um, conflict so that we have no other way but to do this kind of service on exchange of energy. And this is an example. I don't know specifically what kind of way of manipulation they used, you know, to induce us into doing this so that they wouldn't have karma. But they basically use manipulation. And how they can do it is because we have a lot of percentage of their DNA. And DNA is connected directly to other consciousness. So sometimes because species that are projections or connected to our DNA is acting opta, operating octaves higher than our own mind in this, in this physical matrix, they can psychically inform us of things they want us to manifest. And if we're not conscious, if we have been deactivated and we are not conscious of what kind of energy we're receiving, then there's no way for us to filter that information. So we ended up manifesting that. So they can manipulate easily that way. And in, the, in regards to the second question, um, I don't remember exactly what the second question was, sorry. Yeah, I was saying, what, what were they going to do with the gold? Oh, and, yes. Yeah, was it something that, that would create a karma Oh, yes. Well, the gold is because um, they come from a their, their original planet or these specific um, groups of Anunnaki, not all of them, of course. Their, their original planet or the planet that were, they were um, existing or tied, you know, connectively, um, genetically, they, it was... Um, it was all um, polluted, you know, and, and their ozone uh, layers were polluted. So they needed gold, monatomic gold, um, to basically heal the, the layers of the atmosphere of their planet so that they could live there. But this is a story that we received from different sources that I still question, as well as the narrative of the slavery. And I will explain to you why later. But uh, in terms of the karma, we do not get any karma because we are deciding to exchange something um, from them um, if we give them gold. That's the manipulation that I was talking about before. They do tricks so that the exchange of energy is always in a place so that they don't get karma. And so... How, how do we change that? Well, um, by awakening, because it, that is exactly what they did on purpose, to deactivate our DNA so that they could manipulate us and guide us to, you know, to events and situations, conflict situations that we, um, situations of conflict, sorry, that will put us into a state of, you know, um, let's say need for them or um, karma, you know, experiencing recycling their karma so that we wouldn't ascend farther and still and be their slaves still in a way. So, um what we have to do is reactivate our DNA and start to inform us of the positive karma so that we 
we can eventually uh, end those contracts that we made on a higher level with them and stop being their slaves. If they're worried about karma, I don't think it, that creating with their own DNA opts them out of, I think there is karma for that action. So I don't understand the psychology there, but I'm not, I don't also know like what all the laws of the universe are and if we like consent at some level or something, but I just find it interesting that they, that they would think they could escape something karmically when they're the ones creating the, the beings that are doing their dirty work. I guess, but we don't, I mean, I don't see that it's dirty necessarily unless they're doing something bad on their planet with it. Well, in a sense, you have to understand that because they understand the structure of consciousness and existence, they always are extremely manipul manipulative into how they actually approach these um, situations and these creations, you know? So remember that by creating... Um, humanity they just set up a different intention that is not the idea of enslavery they justified with contract with the spiritual contract with the change of information with um energy sorry so in a way that everything is established as a neutral system as a valid um first system but in a way technically on the lower scale on the physical matrix the narrative is what it is but it has been established on a higher level with a lot of manipulation um so that they eventually, it's a fair system, you know, it's a neutral system so that they can get what they want, but without really getting the effect of it by manipulating. Thinking about the karmic that we were talking before, the karmic um, um, idea, in a sense, um, they will get karma if, they're in, if they change the way that they approach us. In the, in, in the way that they interact with us. And they do have, most of them have a lot of karma because they change, they stop being so um, manipulative or, or so, um, let's say, passive, you know, in the way that we, they will take the experiment uh, going on. And they actually did things that goes against the law of no intervention and that obviously you know, has a karma to it. So where we are right now in, in history, in terms of relationship with them, it is actually, it is currently a karmic situation for them too. So, um, but nevertheless, they understand that we have, we contain their karma. So they're just projecting, they're just playing that role because if nobody plays that role, we cannot heal that karma. And if we cannot heal that karma that they experience themselves, they cannot liberate themselves from that karma because we will influence them. It will have a ripple effect on them too. So they're just, some of them are playing the bad guys on a higher perspective on purpose. So that there is a way for us to eventually heal that, to truly heal that and transcend it so that we eventually help them too, in a way. I have a question. So it kind of ties in with the children because a lot of the children that come through are star seeds, And so they, they maybe come from like planets or realms or dimensions that have, uh, gifts that can change the the course of history um and kind of a uh, off branch of that is atlantis the is it basically the future uh is it the location from the future where like the different planets would come and be in harmony with one another and then something went wrong and so we theoretically time traveled back which means that atlantis hasn't really happened yet if we're going back to prevent what happened then it hasn't happened yet is that how you would is that how you would describe what atlantis is i will describe atlantis um you know when when someone deals with the akashic records it's a really hard question because we have been deeply manipulated, even in this community, not just the general world, but even in this community, we have been so manipulated by different sources, by this, specifically by this Anunnaki, so that we believe that there is a history, so that we, um, we will, um, let's say, um, be malleable in the now moment. Uh, 
someone who controls the history or the Akashic records of one species controls the mind of that collective in the moment. So the story that we were told is that in Atlantis, uh, we didn't make it. We were going to ascend, but we didn't make it because we supposedly become tyrannical and we repeated that cycle of energy that karmic cycle of energy of of the past, you know, of the of the ancient um, connections that we have with the Anunnaki, you know, under and how many of these souls that were incarnated there um, re-experiencing this idea of tyranny from the constellation of Orion, you know, the wars of Orion, and it is true in a sense. But I also believe that there were certain events in our planet that were induced by these Anunnaki beings because we were taking a path that they didn't like. And I'm talking about the fact that there are, let's say, um, that the Atlanteans and and the Hyperboreans and many of these um, beings are the ancestors of the races that we know to be the inner earth people. And the the deluge, for instance, the flood that happened back in time in Atlantis that destroyed those civilizations, those, those harmonic civilizations, um, in a sense, it made it so that these survivors of the flood had to go inside the earth to refugee inside the earth so that they could take all the, let's say, um, consciousness that were given to us by extraterrestrial beings back in Atlantis, Alemoria and Hyperborea, um, so that it wouldn't be lost in the future because they observed that the Anunnaki wanted exactly this to happen. So, you know, we were told that the reason why there was a flood and Atlantis eventually disappeared is because we repeated the cycle of energy, of karmic um, cycle of energy of, the, of Orion, that it is true. By the flute itself, what I received um, from the from my own uh, star family and me reading the Akashic record is that the flute was not a response for that cycle, karmic cycle of energy of repeating itself. Because the earth wouldn't just um, ground us like that. It wouldn't just do it as a way to seek revenge or something or as a consequence. It wouldn't make sense that all the time there was a repetition of cycles like that it will be like a major catastrophe, uh, catastrophic event because many races just, just doesn't make it to the next level and, and it's fine. It doesn't have to have that kind of consequences. Now, it's true that there is a connection to that, but not. An, I believe that this specific one was made of, on purpose because there is something in, uh, in the earth called the telluric lines with, that connects with the whole weather, with the, you know, um, with the ecosystems, with the consciousness of, of, the, of the individuals in the planet, that if you start to manipulate them, you can cause catastrophes. And the Anunnakis know about this. And what I received tele- um, telepathically as a download is that the Anunnakis observed that Atlantis and these ancient civilizations were potentially a way for us to transcend this level of enslavery. And so they destroy them on purpose when, uh, when we were in our weakest moment, karmically speaking, so that we wouldn't eventually ascend. And there will be a separation between the ones that keep that knowledge which is the inner earth beings that are refugees in the inner, in hollow earth, and us who are the survivors also of Atlantis, but in a way that we lost that, um, that, that knowledge that we hold it in our, in that civilization that we were given by these ETs.